Hey guys, Jennifer here with The Family Fudge and welcome to Subscriber Lunch Sunday. Today I have four fun and easy lunch ideas sent in by our awesome subscribers. Each lunch will include a main dish, a fruit and a vegetable, a snack, a treat, and a drink. If you'd like to send in your lunch idea to get featured in next week's episode, number one, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. And number two, leave your lunch idea on our Instagram page. We're gonna go ahead and try that this week since our comments are currently disabled on YouTube. And you guys, the more creative your lunch idea, the better. And without further ado, let's get on to the lunches. First up, I have a lunch idea sent in by Chris Lynn. She is 12 years old and is from the United Kingdom. Now for all of the lunches today, I am gonna go ahead and use our Omni boxes. I found these on Amazon. They're a little bit pricey, but they do have a built-in thermos, which is removable if you don't want to use it. Now for this lunch, I am gonna start with the main course first, and that's gonna mean I need to brown up this ground turkey. Now I definitely don't want this turkey to stick, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray my pan with a little bit of non-stick spray. Now this is really lean turkey, so I'm not gonna have to drain it. It's not gonna be all greasy. All I have to do is break it up, and through the magic of YouTube, Boom, it's done. Now, if some of you guessed tacos, you would be partially correct, because next I am gonna go ahead and add a good amount of this taco seasoning. I like this one from Costco, it's not too spicy, which is important, because I do want my kids to eat this. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a big stir, and then set it aside. Now, I could go ahead and put this directly into this thermos, but I'm not just making tacos for this lunch. I'm actually gonna be making a taco salad, so I need a little bit more room. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is remove the thermos and use this section for lots of fresh lettuce. Now if I was sending this to school, I would definitely throw in an ice pack so it would stay nice and fresh. And then the taco meat I'm actually gonna put in a separate thermos to have on the side, just like that. Now to go along with this taco salad, I'm also gonna be including some sour cream and a little thing of mild salsa, which fit perfectly right in here. Now, of course, this wouldn't be taco salad without some tortilla chips, but instead of using regular tortilla chips, I'm gonna include a bag of Doritos. You could go ahead and add all of these ingredients to the Dorito bag and have sort of a walking taco salad, or you could also add all of these ingredients to this large section of the lunchbox and then just mix it all up. For Chris Lynn's lunch today, she chose fruit salad. I'm gonna go ahead and add fresh mango. These smell so good. I'm also adding some watermelon, and then finally a kiwi, which I'm just gonna go ahead and toss in. Now would you look at that? I love the combination of these colors together. It's actually a really beautiful and tasty fruit salad. Now I'm gonna go ahead and load up this back section all the way with this delicious fruit salad. I know my kids will love it. They are the official taste testers for these lunches. Now I did go ahead and leave these fruit pieces kind of large so that the kids could pick them up with these adorable taco food picks. Now I actually found these in the dollar section at Target. They have so many cute food items right now. If you have a Target near you, you should definitely check it out. And of course, that brings us to our vegetables. For today's lunch, I'm adding a combination of carrots, and now I'm using my crinkle cutter to make them look extra fun. I'll go ahead and place these in the lunchbox, just like this. To go along with the carrots, I'm also adding some celery sticks. I'm just trimming them so that they can fit in the lunchbox, just like that. So far, so good on this lunch. Of course, we also have the Doritos in there. And then for the special treat, Chrislyn suggested either a Rice Krispie treat or M&Ms. So I decided to go with the mini M&M tubes. These are so cute. My kids are going to flip when they see these. I love that these come in a cute little tube that you can kind of open, take what you want, and then save the rest for later. For the snack today, I'm adding some goldfish crackers in this cute goldfish container that helps them not get crushed. And for her drink, I'm also gonna be throwing in some lemonade, which I went ahead and put in our reusable drink containers with the little trolls on top. I think those are so cute for today's lunch. So now I'm gonna go ahead and build this taco salad. I've decided to make it directly in the lunch box. I'm gonna go ahead and add the meat, a little bit of salsa, some sour cream, and there you have it. Okay kids, what was your favorite part of this lunch? I really liked mangoes. I really liked the goldfish and the taco salad. I thought that was really delicious. And we both liked the M&Ms. <laughs> the salad was the best. 
And right now I sound funny because my tooth's about to come out. Our next lunch was sent in by Xavier. He's nine years old and is from Canada. Now for his lunch today, he requested a pig in a blanket. Now I've made this so many ways and they've all been pretty good. But for this lunch today, I'm gonna try something I've never tried before. Instead of using crescent dough, I'm gonna go ahead and try this puff pastry. So this is gonna be kind of a fancy pig in a blanket. At least I think so, hopefully it'll turn out. I'm just gonna go ahead and open up my puff pastry and unfold it. It's got lots of flour on there so it doesn't stick, which is nice. For this, I'm gonna be using our favorite all beef dogs. These are so good. I find these at Walmart. And I am gonna go ahead and sort of pat these dry. That way they don't make our pig in a blanket kind of soggy, if you know what I mean. Next, I'm gonna take this puff pastry and cut it into four pieces, just like that. Then I'm gonna take the hot dog Place it in the center. Now you guys, I've never actually made this before, so I'm kind of just guessing. I'm hoping this will work. I'm pretty much wrapping this up like I would a burrito. I've tucked in the edges, and now I'm very tightly wrapping it all the way around, and I'm gonna place it seam down on our baking sheet so it can stay closed. These are looking pretty fancy already, but I am gonna go ahead and score the top of each with my knife, kind of like they would do in a fancy bakery. And then I would like these to have a nice golden brown top to them. So I'm taking one egg and I'm gonna whisk it up. And then using my pastry brush, I'm just gonna brush a little bit all over for the tops of these dogs. And then before I pop it into the oven, I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of this everything but the bagel seasoning. If you've not tried this, it is super good. There's garlic powder, onion powder, sesame seeds. It's delicious. Now while those are in the oven, I'll go ahead and prepare the fruit. For Xavier's lunch today, he chose a combination of raspberries and blackberries. Now these are looking awesome already, but I do wanna go ahead and add just a little bit of decoration. I have these really cute food picks I found at Hobby Lobby. They definitely remind me of like a comic book or superheroes. Now for his veggies, Xavier asked for a combination of both carrot and celery. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill up this whole section with baby carrots and then this back section with plenty of celery. Then, instead of having just regular old ranch to dip in, he requested some good old hummus. This is just a store-bought classic hummus. It's super delicious. I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit to this really cute star-shaped liner. That way it won't get all over the lunchbox. Now our pigs in a blanket are almost done, but in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of ketchup to the separate container. I know my kids will love to dip their little hot dogs in here. If I was sending this to school, I would definitely put a separate lid on on the ketchup though, because I would hate to have it all over the lunchbox. And then finally, our pigs in a blanket are done, and I think they look awesome. They look pretty fancy if you ask me. Hopefully the kids will like them. This did end up a little bit big for the lunchbox. I could go ahead and cut it, but that's okay. I'll just go ahead and leave it whole for now. For an added snack today, Xavier chose some of these Lay's barbecue chips. Now these are a lot like Pringles. They tend to be a little bit cheaper, which I of course like. But you guys, one time I bought a tube of these chips and when I opened it up, they were all broken. Like every single one was broken. So hopefully these won't be. And no, they're not, they're looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in a separate container and then it's time for this special treat. For Xavier's lunch today, he chose licorice. So I found these red vines at my grocery store. Definitely a fun treat though. It makes me think of the movies. And of course, we have to end this lunch with the drink. And for his lunch today, Xavier chose some flavored water. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add some into this really fun bottle, get the lid on, shake it up a little bit, and that's it. Time to let the kids dig in. I really like the pigs in the blanket. My favorite was the pigs in the blanket and the blackberries and um, the red berries and the licorice and the drink. So everything except the veggies? Uh -huh. I like the licorice and the hot dog. I eat half the hot dog, but I mostly eat the bread since my tooth hurts. Oh. This next lunch idea was sent in by Victoria. She's 15 years old and is from New Jersey. Now for this lunch today, I'm not gonna be starting with the main course first. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the treat first because I think it's gonna take the longest. For Victoria's special treat, I'm gonna need some white chocolate chips, some rainbow candies. I went ahead and chose the Nerds. Lily loves Nerds. I think they're her favorite candy. And then I'm also gonna be using an assortment of sprinkles. 
To start this treat, I'm gonna go ahead and add the entire bag of white chocolate to a bowl. This is a microwave safe bowl. That part is important because next I'm gonna stick it in the microwave and I'm gonna heat it up 30 seconds at a time until it's completely melted and smooth. Next, I'm gonna pour this delicious white chocolate all over my baking sheet. I did go ahead and line this with some wax paper because I definitely don't want it to stick. Now all I have to do is spread this out. I want it to be about a quarter inch thick. And then comes the fun part. I'm gonna add lots of different kinds of candies and sprinkles. I want this to look very unicorn and rainbow because if you haven't already guessed it, I'm making unicorn bark. Now you could really add any toppings you want. These are just the ones that I have on hand. And then all you have to do is pop it into the freezer until it is solid. Now while that unicorn bark is solidifying, it's time to make the main course. And for Victoria's lunch today, she chose this Asian style chicken. Now this one's a little bit spicier, so hopefully my kids will like it. They've never tried it before, but it's really easy to make. It's fully cooked, all I have to do is pop it in the oven and then add the sauce. Now before I put the chicken into our lunch box, I am gonna go ahead and put a bed of white rice so it's kind of like a rice bowl. Next, I'm gonna to top it with this chicken, and this is very fragrant. I can smell garlic and ginger, but I can also see some chili flakes in there. Ooh, I don't know, hopefully it's not too spicy. Now, moving right along to the fruits and veggies, Victoria chose a combination of cucumber and carrots, and she asked if I could cut them into a flower shape, which is actually really easy to do and I think they look super cute. I'm gonna decorate these with these adorable unicorn picks and then move on to the fruit. For Victoria's lunch, she chose apples. I'm gonna fit as many as I can in there. And then I have a few more things to add to this lunch, including some Teddy Grahams. These are so cute. I love the little teddy bear shape. And then of course our special treat. This just came out of the freezer and as you can see, it's breaking up nicely. I'm gonna break this into pretty small pieces. You don't need a lot here, a little goes a long way. And I'm gonna place it into the lunchbox. I think this turned out so cute. And of course, I'm not gonna forget her drink. For this lunch, she chose apple juice, and I just happened to have a unicorn one, so it's perfect for today's lunch. Okay guys, are you ready to give this a try? I like the apple juice, the unicorn, like the teddy grams, and that's all. I actually really liked the chicken. It was kind of spicy, but I liked it. The apple in the lunch made my tooth loose. Ooh. Next up, I have another awesome lunch idea. This one was sent in by Taylor. She's 12 years old and it's from Florida. Hey, we were just in Florida. Now for this lunch today, I'm trying to decide whether I want to use the thermos or not. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take it out so I have enough room for the main course. For Taylor's lunch today, she chose chicken and cheese quesadillas. So I'm gonna be using these teeny tiny flour tortillas. To this I'm adding a little bit of shredded cheddar cheese. These are definitely not your traditional quesadillas, but that's okay. Next, I'm gonna to top this with just a little bit of salsa. And then next, I'm gonna be adding some chicken. Now, normally I would use rotisserie chicken, but I'm all out of that. So instead, I'm using some slices of chicken. I think it'll be just fine. Now that those are nice and melted, I can fold them over and then move on to our fruits and veggies. Now for her lunch today, Taylor chose cucumbers. I went ahead and cut them with my crinkle cutter to make them look really cute. This is really easy to do though. I'm gonna add a little flag pick just for fun. Now to go along with the cucumbers, Taylor also requested ranch, but instead of using my own ranch, we're gonna give this one a try. This one is made by the Pioneer Woman. I can't wait to give her ranch a try. It'll be interesting to see if the kids like her ranch or my ranch better. For the fruit today, I'm adding a big scoop of red grapes with a pick just for fun. Love to decorate these lunches with a pick. It's really easy to do. To go along with this, I'm also adding some Doritos. These are the good old nacho cheese flavored ones. Back here, I'm adding a very special treat. For Taylor's lunch today, she requested mini vanilla cupcakes. I found these ones at my grocery store and they're very patriotic. I'm gonna go ahead and add them right in here. And then last but not least for the drink, I'm adding apple juice. Time to call in the taste testers. Okay guys, what'd you think of this one? Whose ranch was better, mommy's or the Pioneer Woman? Mommy's. What do you think, Enzi? I didn't taste the difference. You thought they tasted the same? Yeah, my favorite was the quesadilla. My favorite was 
Um, the cupcake, the grapes, um, the quesadilla, and the juice. My favorite part of this lunch was the grapes and the juice. Thanks for watching. See you next time.